the smoke, it keeps the bees calm, keeps the beekeeper from getting stung too much. Keeping bees. They are pissed. Sorry, girls. Comes with a certain level of uncertainty. Ted McFall has known that for a while now. Uh, I see eggs, I see larvae, so the queen is doing great in this one. But the worries only got worse after what happened late last year. One of Ted's hives was the apparent target of an Asian giant hornet attack. Thousands of bees found beheaded on the ground. Just uh, it gives you a helpless feeling being unable to protect your bees from something like that. A feeling Ted is hoping to prevent with a new to the U.S. technology trying to meet this threat of invasive hornets. These traps on the entrance of hives. Hopefully it's going to serve as a one way well, one way valve and they're going to go in and, and not be able to come back out. Those cones should trap an attacking hornet while letting bees pass through. He's got two on hives at either end of the row. Uh, the reality is the front two ones are the ones that I'm depending on uh, helping protect the rest. Fingers crossed that, that, uh, that these traps will work. Who knows if they're going to work? These were in use in Asia, right? And, and they've been adapted for use here? Yeah, and uh, they're, they're a little bit different. They, they took some drawings from a publication of the, from the 1970s and kind of adapted them to the point where they would work. Dr. Tim Lawrence with WSU Extension explains these traps like Ted's and the five on Sentinel hives being monitored by the state are not a silver bullet because of the scale. Do you see uh, a future where maybe this is a protective measure that more hives could have as a keep them out kind of thing? It's common over in uh, Japan. Uh, it's probably going to be something that's more uh, common with non-migratory beekeepers. Uh, commercial beekeepers are probably going to have a use a different tack. He says the better option and the one they're still pursuing is wiping these invasive hornets out. They had their first success there just weeks ago, finding a hive in a tree and suctioning hundreds of hornets out, eventually finding two queens. Hopefully it won't be a, a replay of last year. Ted is on board with eradication. The only way to, to solve this problem is by finding the nest and, and killing the nest. Still, this mesh is a sliver of comfort for him and his bees. Hopefully they're going to work. They might work. They might not work. I have no idea. But I know that everything else I can control to keep them alive. Trying to keep the hornets out and his hives safe. I'm just like, well, I just have my fingers crossed. And that's a that's a crappy way of living is just keeping your fingers crossed and hoping. Michael Crow, King 5 News.